fan of run, welcome back to another episode of the Explore Life. To say this is going to be a fun one is an absolute understatement. We brought up one hell of a crew, we brought all the toys, we got boats, tinnies, beers, we got bloody coffee machines, we got jet skis. It's going to be a hell weekend. Stay tuned, let's go. Let's go. This has got to be the biggest episode we have ever filmed. To say I'm excited is an absolute understatement. We're meeting up with the whole crew at the famous Inskip Point. And what a crew. I think we got about 11 or 12 cars strong. From here, we're going to jump on the ferry, make our way all the way up to Eli Creek. That'll be our first stop. Kick back, jump in the fresh water, have some lunch, probably see if our HEPS trailer's working. What a bloody weekend we're in for. Beach. How is it, mate? Feels pretty good up here, I'm not gonna lie. I am super pumped for this. Big old Fraser Island is gonna take my gladiators off road virginity. Yeah, the new Explorer boat, she's on the beach for the first time. There's a few firsts going on this weekend. What an epic little convoy we got here, boys and girls. Uh, we're gonna make our way around the point straight up to Eli Creek for a bit of lunch and a quick dip because it's about 30 degrees. Fraser Island, let's do it. But it doesn't matter how many times you come here, it's just it's just a beautiful spot, like as if you wouldn't want to be here. Unreal weather for a thirsty weekend, I'm bloody excited, let's get it. I'll tell you what, I've not been here for absolutely years, so I am ready to rumble and I'm always down for a feed. Yeah, this should be pretty good, excited, been here a couple of times, but it's going to be a pearl of a weekend. Pretty excited just to set up the audience and hang out in the Eli for a while. So after making our way up the east coast, we've pulled into the beautiful Eli Creek for a bite to eat. Uh, here I'm going to introduce you to the whole crew. Strap yourself in, this could take a while, but we are just getting warmed up. Righto, straight off the rank we got Dean from the Bush Company. He's got all the gear. <laughs> what happened? The D-Max died. Died. So you got the brand new 79 straight out of the box. This is the first time it's ever been seen. What a beast. I've got none of the Bush Company products on it, but we are. That's Perfect. Going to be good. Unfortunately, both the boys are here this weekend. We got Benny from Airbag Man, the big 200. What do you got out the back, mate? It's the GDR 230 2020 model Sea Dew. Brand new. Brand new. First trip. Yeah. Happy days. All right, we got Brad from the Max Tracks. You brought a few toys, mate. What, do you, what did you bring out? I bought the Sixby and uh, the Willys. The Willys Jeep 1942. 43, mate. Yeah. 43 Jeep. How good. Alex is back again, mate. What do you got behind you? The green machine. I do. It's finally getting the treatment it deserves. <laughs> so, someone that can catch fish. Yeah, well, we'll see. Green Machine versus the Explorer. It's going to be interesting. Oh, well, I was trying to work out why you brought two cars, mate, but I understand. What's going on? Yeah, I just got this one. So, first time off road on the beach. Yeah. Absolutely love it. It's great. Brand new Gladiator. How good does it look? Happy day. Righto, Wayne's back. I'm here, mate. I've been bloody <laughs> busy building these things, but I snagged a few days off. Looks like you're due for a haircut. It's been busy, man. It's been busy. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you do? Let myself go, but the trailers are getting good. Perfect. We got uh, Danny from the Jerry Can Company, mate. What's going on? Mate, I thought I'd come here and uh, supply the caffeine for you guys. Fresh coffees every morning. How good is that? And then in the mighty Susie, we got Abby Lister. What's going on? Not much. First time at Fraser, so I'm a little bit excited, a little bit nervous, but I'm keen. Should be fun. And then from ARB, we got Big Swifty, you're back again, mate. How are you, man? So, um, I've taken a bit of time off building your next truck. Perfect. Sam will wait for over. Happy days. <laughs> Hep doesn't really need any introduction. I'll let you guess why he came. What have we got going on, mate? Oh, mate, I'll just get used and abused around here. Hey, Hep, <laughs> can you bring up a shit ton of beer? We're going up Fraser. All oh, right, eh? Got a heap of work on, but... Only five taps. What's wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. Work, work to live, don't live to work, eh? Okay? Thank you. Right, well, last but not least, I brought the better half. Je Jess has come up. How fun's it going to be getting the new boat in the drink? Amazing! Cannot wait. It's going to be one heck of a weekend. Right, oh, time for a bit of lunch. Let's get into it. And there's one more that I almost forgot. My old man Pete. He's come up for the weekend. He's riding shotgun with Ali. I can't find him. He's run off to grab himself a cold beer. I think. We have beer taps and we've got chefs. This is good. Loving it so far. Ha, 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 ha. 
Well, I could sit here all day, but um, we don't go, we mate. don't leave soon. I reckon it's another two, two, three hours from here to get up to uh, India. It's low tide now, eh? Low tide. So if we haul last now, we'll be able to get up there in the afternoon, just as the sun's going down, set up and um, fill these up again. Maybe fill them up, eh? Yeah, mate. team well we've had a beautiful little run up the beach here we've got uh, the infamous little Indian head run so a little bit of soft sand and uh, if we get stuck good news we've got uh, Abby to pull us out the only one not towing <laughs> this ought to be fun Alright, so we've just come through the inland track. What a beautiful little track that was. Amazing. Missed the fuel stop, but... We'll get that tomorrow. We have plenty. There's um, been a fire come through, so there's actually some um, really nice sections of full burnt out and then bright green. It's absolutely beautiful. We're just going to run down the beach now. Hopefully we find a big ass campsite. Mm -hmm. Zone 8, apparently it's the best one up here. Well, we've only got uh, 11 vehicles with us, so it's going to be interesting to find a site. Let's see how we go. And I promise that I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. All right, three and a half hours later, 4,000 reverses, 900 uh, arguments, but it looks like we've managed to find a spot that's going to fit us all. We've dropped the boats off, we got the beer front and center, that's the main thing, and now everyone else is just trying to fit in around. But I'll tell you what, absolutely gorgeous spot. We're protected by the hill here. Yeah, good. Is an epic old school Jeep that Brad's brought along. Look at that. That is a weapon. Yeah, I won't waste it. Alright, well I tell you what, it does not get any better than this. What an epic little setup. We're right on the beach here. We got campsites as far as the eye can see. The beers are cold, they're being poured, the coffee machine's set up. We're basically just gonna chill out for the afternoon, get stuck into a few, enjoy it, take in the serenity. Uh, not too many, but because tomorrow morning we're gonna get up nice and early, see if we can't get these big boats in the drink. Should be an interesting day. Plan. 
Well, we'll get um, we'll get these tents packed up. We'll run over, grab the big boats. The boys are going to hook that beer trailer on. We'll get everyone on the beach, run down to the point. We'll set up there for the full day, I reckon. Um, then a few of us can push offshore in the boats. Everyone else can chill on the beach, play with the tinnies. Just kick back, mate. Should be a good day. Sounds like a plan. Biggest fish wins. Well, we got there in the end, a uh, beautiful bit of breakfast, and now we're on the way down to the point. Who's going to catch some fish today? Probably one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. Um, thanks for that, boys. Uh, yeah, I'll put my hand up for that. Might not catch some fish, but I'm definitely going to drop the ski and the drink. Oh, with you, Benny, mate, a bit of leisure time in the ski and the tinny, have a few beers. Mate, you're doing nothing on that tinny but sinking back and drinking soda waters, I reckon. But uh, definitely hands up for a few fish on today, boys. Yep, I'm pretty sure uh, the Explorer is going to catch more than the green machine. That's all I know. boats in. This one doesn't have an extended draw bar so this is going to be interesting but should be right. Let's go. Let's go. He wouldn't have done it without me, for sure. Bit of a rough run out, but we made it out here. It's actually not too bad. The sun's out. We've got a couple of little marks here, so we're going to drift across. It's the Explorer versus the Green Boat. Game on, boys. We got the secret weapon, mate. South African. Right, so we've just seen uh, what looks to be like some uh, tuna busting up over here. Looks like the Green Boat's seen it as well. Get over there, throw some slugs in them, see how we go. I have absolutely no idea what we're doing, but good thing we got Dino here. We just followed the bus up. Not telling the other boys. Not telling them, no, it's our little secret, yeah. but yeah, throw straight in the middle of it and hope for the best. That's what we're doing, isn't it? Come around on the back girl. Quite a yeah, that's awkward. That's Maybe I caught my pilly. It's not very big. <laughs> good job, dude. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty confident that's a little uh, long tail, would you say, Dean? That's very cool. It's a beauty, eh? Beautiful. A bit of light bait. Let's see if we can get something a bit bigger. Hopefully there's something chasing them. Um, yeah, give it a go anyway, something different. Guys, yeah, so we've tried to fish the deeper reef. Coming close, hugged around the rocks, tried a few different things and nothing, so we're gonna go back into the beach, hit some beers, have some lunch, it's gonna be great. So uh, yeah, let's get back in there, hope you have a safe bar crust crossing, it should be good. These waves are looking absolutely massive, but we're gonna see what this beast can do. It's only its second run out, so. There are massive waves out there. Here we go. So while we were offshore, it blew up something fierce. We ended up getting absolutely smashed by the swell. While we're making our way in, the crew have been kicking back here. 
enjoying the cold beers, playing with the footy, the toys. They've been having an absolute ball. I think it's time we join them. Oh, wind. So it's windy as all buggery. There's nothing we can do. It's swung around, it's blowing a northerly, and now it's going to blow a northerly for the next uh, couple days, which is devastating. But um, we've just finished up a good bit of a feed here. We're going to go drop the big boats back at camp. We take the rest of the convoy over to the other side of Indy and head. Hopefully, we can find a little bay, hide from this wind. We'll drop the tinny and ski back in if it's uh, not too bad, and we'll have a play. Spend the afternoon over there trying to hide. Damn it! Sounds fantastic. Let's get into the bubbles. I heard there was actually champagne in this pool. Mate, it flows off the rocks straight into your mouth. So can I can launch the cold room trailer down there? Yeah. We, pro we probably can't get the cold room trailer down there, but we may be able to carry a case of Larry. I let it burn, you call the fire brigade, but I feel that it will come back. Oh, See you in there. See you in there, Benny. Jeez, it looks good. Did you bring your snorkel? Yeah. Alright, welcome to the poo pools. It's officially, there's that much seaweed down here that normally this is absolutely beautiful. And at the moment, it is honestly looks like uh, little poo pools. It's, it's absolutely terrible. So, in true explore life fashion, nothing is going to plan. We're supposed to actually be camped on the west coast. I don't even know if I've told you that, but due to fires, all of the west coast is shut. And uh, so that's why we come over to the east coast. Half the island is on fire. There's seaweed everywhere, so <laughs> I don't know. I think we're gonna have to go back to camp, park it up, and just sink a few tins and call it a day. Mother Nature has its own plans, and unfortunately, it isn't for us. Well, we're having a bit of a round table. We can either go swim in the pool, the poo pools, <laughs> or we can head back to camp. Can I buck, suggest buck something? Down. Yeah, go on. I'm never ever going to do this again, but I think we should have a massive rock off, like the biggest rock off we've ever had, to swim in the poo pools. That's upsetting, oh, eh? I know. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> That's a shit idea. Why, <laughs> That'd be horrible. Why would you do that? Do it, yes! Oh, every time. Yes. Yeah! God, you deserve this too. <laughs> Come on, Swifty, beat him. Oh, he's gone early. Yeah, he's he's gone early. But that's on you, mate. You went premature. Come on, you went premature. Come on, go again. What, what are you doing? Yeah, you, you, you deserve it. Oh, 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 you deserve it. Oh, 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 you deserve it. Yes, Swifty. Come with me. Come with me. Alright, let's go back to camp drink this. What better way to finish off a day than a bit of slack line in between trucks, eh? Alright, so we're going to throw a wind dental trap between the cars. Put in tow bar to tow bar, but no pressure on it. All we're doing is walking across it. We want it to be nice and firm, just have a bit of fun for the afternoon. So yeah, get into it.
<laughs> the car just caught the ball and he's gone. That's it. We don't have a ball. Game over. If he gets that ball, technically it hasn't touched the ground yet. So it'll be a catch. <laughs> There's a catch. Okay, you got to see this. Wait, wait, wait. No. Wait. no. Wait. You would not read about that. <laughs> no. That is gone. That's gone. No That's gone. It didn't hit the ground. That cannot no, happen, eh? What can Toyotas do? <laughs> <laughs> that can't happen, eh? They can even catch. Oh, <laughs> Back to cricket. Oh. Are we rolling? Are we rolling? We're rolling. All right. Thanks. You're making a mess in my kitchen. You said we were going to have fish for dinner. What happened? Well, we caught um, a pulled pork, a <laughs> spicy pulled pork, and then we caught the uh, long-tailed brisket. Ooh. Very nice. I like it. <laughs> how'd, how'd you catch the gluten-free? So we'll have a feed. We're going we're gonna to have to wind this up, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Well, it's blowing a gale this morning still, so what do you reckon? Should we go to the west side? Yeah, absolutely. There's still one road open, thankfully, so we'll take the jet skis over, uh, hopefully tinny. take the tinny. Yep, yeah, we got the surfboards, tubing. tube. Wastegate. Should be a good day. Let's get into it. Right, oh well, here we go. Uh, there is one road open to the west side, so I reckon we'll get out of this wind, head across, see if we can't get these skis and tinnies in and have a bit of fun, eh? Sounds good, mate. I'll be itching to get this tinny in the water. I also got my stand-up paddleboard, so I'm pretty keen. Oh, I've got to be a day for it. I'm excited. Just be a couple little flatties floating around, swimming about. I got my rod and a couple of little soft plastics. A couple of three metre <laughs> That'll be great, mate. I'm keen for a fish too. It's gonna to be awesome. I've got my rod as well. I got the ice lattes. And we got the beer. Just pulled up to the west coast. Absolutely beautiful. Well, There's a bit of wind. But it's a lot better than what we had yesterday, so we're just gonna set up here for the day, catch some fish, go for a snorkel and just yeah, be the tube and have a good time. Getting the boats off right now. We're about to get this absolute weapon of a jet ski into the drink. We're gonna go for a burn, aren't we, Benny? I tell you what, I am so keen to get that in the water. How blue and is it though? Wreck oh. some people with the tube. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, good on you. <laughs> We've found ourselves a nice little island over here, so we're currently ferrying the passengers over uh, from the main shore of the island. Is that what you call it? Alright, so we dragged over the big party island. We got the tinny, the mat, we got all the toys. Plan is kick back here, enjoy it, uh, chill out, a few cold beers. Time to get someone on the tube. You're up, girls. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs>
I reckon we go get a shovel and uh, build a ramp out of the sand and launch this thing. I reckon we can. I reckon we can jump some shit. Let's go, Danny boy. <laughs> Second part of the plan. This mat is going to be the runway. <laughs> Mate, the tide's gone out. Now it's far. It's just more speed. I've done the calculations. Have you done the maths? Yeah, just full throttle. is well and truly ripping through here we don't have a lot of water left so we're gonna probably pack everything up head over time for a feed on the other beach I think we've come back over here for some lunch we have some pulled pork barbecue sauce caramelized onion and some snacks over here what's the plan for the Savo? well we're gonna have a hell of a feed and then I think we might uh, there's an ocean lake they call it freshwater lake it's only a hundred meters up from camp so we'll get back Everyone can have a swim, get the salt and sand off them, and then I think we'll be back to camp. Someone said something about espresso martinis. <laughs> Just pulled up to the what they call Ocean Lake. It's uh, just up past Zone 8 camping, and it is a beautiful uh, tea tree, freshwater lake. I tell you what, it is so good. <laughs> Wash the salt, sand, everything off. It's bloody refreshing. I don't know what took everyone so long to get here, but. Oh, well, there we go. Espresso martinis from the crew. I dare say it's going to get a little bit messy, so I think we might wrap it up. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you like, subscribe. New merch, go check it out. That'll do. Let's go. Yeah.